Tannerite is used by rifle shooters, so they know if they've hit their mark from long range. That's the proper way to use it, but we found it's often being misused in neighborhoods. Jennifer Plank Greer was at a friend's house in Western Ohio. And I thought, well, I'll just tape this. She whipped out her cell phone, eager to capture someone firing a new rifle. A piece of shrapnel from the explosion took off Jennifer's hand. Oh, my, my, my. According to this complaint filed by Jennifer in Toledo District Court, the detonation was triggered by an exploding target placed inside a refrigerator. I had no clue that there was anything like that. Um, being used. Jennifer's attorney says the products are abused. People use way too much or put it inside things that can explode and create shrapnel. It's a dangerous product and frankly, you know, the foreseeable risks of this product far outweigh any benefit you could ever get from it. Exploding targets are sold under several names. The most common brand is Tannerite. Five on your side investigators confirmed a number of Northeast Ohio retailers have Tannerite in stock. Ohio has no restrictions, but stores like Gander Mountain have their own policies. Your home zip code? Uh, 44122. To complete a purchase, our producer had to answer a few simple questions during checkout. Date of birth? Uh, March 21st, 1988. A spokesperson told us, quote, Gander Mountain strictly adheres to all local, state, and federal law governing all of the products sold at stores and online. But that's not stopping people from using exploding targets. On YouTube, it's easy to find videos of young people using the product to blow stuff up, like appliances and cars. <laughs> You're about to see firsthand how dangerous the chemicals can be when mixed together. If you use it outside of its normal intent, uh, that is now an improvised explosive device. That's illegal. Using a controlled detonation, bomb squad experts blew up a mailbox, a watermelon, and just the container. There are kids using it. Nobody's tracking that until somebody gets hurt. The federal government is also concerned about people misusing exploding targets. The FBI distributed this bulletin warning that exploding targets could be used by criminals and terrorists to make IEDs. The U.S. Forest Service banned the targets on its property in five western states, claiming they ignited wildfires costing them more than $33 million to fight. And the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is also warning people. People, they don't realize the risk. If you improperly use these explosive materials and you put them in a container for other than they're intended for, uh, there can be tragic consequences. Leading manufacturer Tannerite is launching a letter writing campaign and YouTube videos to address people abusing the product. If it's used properly and for what it's intended, it is a safe product. We have a plea for common sense. We strongly encourage that people do not misuse the product. Jennifer Plank Greer thought she was at safe range. I was approximately 150 yards up range. She reached a settlement with the shooter and is suing the Ohio manufacturer H2 Targets, the store who sold it, and the property owner. My medical expenses are 250,000 plus, and I'm not done. Jennifer's hand was reattached, but has little function left. She wants people to heed safety warnings. I don't want to see somebody else go through what I've gone through. Experts say if you do use exploding targets, make sure you follow the manufacturer's guidelines and keep a safe distance. Once mixed, you likely need a federal permit to transport it because it's then considered an explosive. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.